Well, I, you know, I said I said low reset runs, but the last two were something. I, don't know. I must have not grabbed the one on the stairs somehow, or maybe the one after. I don't. I actually don't even know. Okay. Didn't really want to play chapter one again, but you know, here we are. Uh, chapter one was pretty bad though, so I don't mind actually trying to get a better one. Sometimes it just be like that, yeah. You know what I should do for uh, April Fools coming up? Uh, I should just boot up fucking Jimmy Neutron Jet Fusion Man. Be like, all right, time time to do our daily daily any percent grind. For this game. Let's pretend like I've been doing it for four years. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, actually. I want. I wonder how long it would take me to do a run of that game if I tried to just sit down and beat it. The record's an, like an hour and a half. Um, it probably would take me a lot longer than that. Three straight hours of kidnapped. That would be pretty good too, yeah. Three hour, kidnapped glitchless, maybe? I have, uh, I've never actually beaten the entire game glitchless before. Because I got stuck on chapter three. The one where you gotta... You're supposed to hunt down animals in the woods, but... I think they I think they can just despawn. You need a certain amount of each of like two or three different kinds or so. And uh I think they can just despawn. Either that or they're just very far spread out because the map's really big. But it's kind of confusing to navigate. There's no map or anything, obviously. Your rig is red. It's not great. It's red. Also not a great game. Sam. Also, again with the you know, the Callisto thing, you know, I saw people saying, Oh, this game's this game's like a 2 out of 10. I'm like, dude, Kidnapped is like a 1 or 2 out of 10. <laughs> or a 3, I don't know. I won't be needing it anymore. Isaac, we're all gonna burn for what we did to you. Clark. Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique... Alright, alright, alright. Let's, let's really try to... How do you... Chapter 4 here. What's up, Elf? Why so late? Uh, I had family visiting this weekend. They just left a little bit ago, so I wanted to still get a stream in today. Because I'm not the one shooting I pretty much jumped on as soon as I could. Just follow the route I'm sending you. Radish number one hater and minor spelling mistake. Dude, the minor the minor spelling mistake gifts are, are my new favorite thing <laughs> to use a Discord. It's so funny. Look, there's a there's a small chance I did not hit that checkpoint. Okay. Uh, works every time.
Jesus, that thing was angry. How long would glitch kidnapped glitchless take? Like half an hour? Uh, maybe, yeah. It really depends on how long you can do chapter three, because most of the other levels actually aren't even that long. I mean, chapter one is kind of long. I get one and three are kind of long. Uh, two, the caves, um, isn't it, it is pretty short. I think four, I think is the shortest. And five, you just got to do some puzzles, but you're still going in a straight line to the end. But yeah, maybe like 30 minutes, maybe less. You know, maybe the maybe the spawns in three are the same every time, and it actually would be, would be pretty easy. But no one's uh, just no one sat down to actually route it out. <laughs> you know. And I'm pretty sure some of the enemy or some of the objectives, the uh, stuff you got to get in three, can just despawn. I think that happened to me when I tried. Chapter one, you're exploring a house. You got to get five fuses. There's a bunch of stuff you got to do, but I I think you could probably still do it pretty quick. Isaac, Isaac over here. <sighs> one possible cool kidnapped thing you could do, or kidnapped category, would be um, doing chapter one, but you have to actually get all the fuses. But you're allowed to use glitches though. Because you can do a lot of the, the prop flying, clipping through floor stuff all over that level and possibly still skip a bunch of stuff. So I think that could be pretty interesting. But I don't think there's enough variety in the other levels to do a full, you know, I, I mean, I don't know, like all objectives, no major skips, whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't think the other levels would have enough to make it interesting, but that first level would be pretty interesting, I think. <laughs> I kind of wanted that ammo, but that's fine. Should be alright, I think. Ah, uh, you know, another good backup might be just hitting the Infector again there to see if it drops anything. Thought I saw it up there, but I wasn't sure. But, uh, for those who have seen the, the Kidnapped Run, or, or I guess haven't seen it, uh, you can... Put items under yourself and just fling up, clip through the ceiling, and then you can clip back in by crouching and saving the game because it clips you on the floor a little bit when you save. Um, but so you could you could do that all over the first level, and it, it's it's definitely the most um, in depth level in terms of the design and everything. All the other levels are much more straightforward or short. But I think I think it could be pretty cool because there's a lot of other props you can flip with. It doesn't have to be the bottle at the start. Um, and for whatever reason, they just didn't have any of those props be in any other level. It's I mean it's the only level you can prop fly in. <laughs> I don't I don't know why they just decided not to add any of that later on. It's I don't it's just a I got a lot of questions with that game. It's some interesting choices. Other than that, though, I don't know what other categories you could even squeeze out of that game. I don't remember there being any kind of collectibles. There might be notes or something, like war stuff. I, I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I don't. Th I don't think 100% would really be a thing. One of their other games, uh, alone, had a had a kind of neat category. I thought because it had these. Um, it had some collectibles you could grab, so we had basically an all-collectibles run. And there's not too much you can actually do in that game, but you 
you can't jump or any any cool movement, you know, or anything like that. But you can clip through walls in some places. So if anything, it was kind of fun seeing what the fastest possible route was, dodging stuff, moving out of bounds, getting from one area to the next with certain barriers. Because, you know, it would try to do this thing where, you know, you go down a hallway and there's a wall and then you'd have to, you know, go into a different room, come back, and then the wall would disappear. It tries to, like, trick you with the, the layout of the level. You could sort of circumvent that, just going out of bounds. It, it's, like, definitely not, like, a, a great game <laughs> either, but, uh... Or even, like, running it is not the most fun. The loads are atrociously bad. Like, just really long, and the game crashes constantly. Like, you could save the... I'm not even joking, like, you could save the game or load the game and it'll crash. It's really bad. But routing it was a lot of fun. Hopefully we're gonna money here. I think you're still so Konichi, is it going? We can't talk. I can speed free. Are the memories coming? Outlast. <laughs> Almost sub five, yeah. It's really close. Well, sounds like you got it soon. Good luck. The more I remember, the more my head hurts. I, I understand though. That that is that is frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I was just hanging out with family this weekend and. uh... Now we're gaming for a little bit. Someone gives you the sub. Yo, nice. Hope you enjoy the sub. Hey Dana, there's this crazy guy that keeps contacting me. I saw him back at the hospital. Nolan Strauss. He was a patient in the project, just like you. Yeah? Well, why was he there? Uh, yep. Yeah, I did. Yeah, sure did. He murdered his own wife and child. With some pretty silly mistakes, too. In this game, I had... I forget which one was which, but in... Between Glitchless and Hardcore Any% Percent, I had a run that was 2 hours and 30 milliseconds, and one of the other ones was 2 hours and 20 milliseconds. Am I still on track? Yes. It's, like, actually, it's... Twice that happened to me in this game. Two different categories, but, yeah. Stay sharp. Bro. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it was yeah, it was NG plus glitchless actually. I was trying to get sub two in that. And then um hardcore is like way, way lower now. Um it's at like 117, but yeah, back when it was uh around the two hour mark, I got a run that was almost exactly two hours. But not under. It was pretty funny though, and you know what? In that glitchless run, I think I like missed an interaction on a on a lift. Like I could have done it slightly faster, and I, that actually cost me the the sub two. In that case, it was actually all right because I did end up getting a much better time. I got I came back with like a one fifty nine thirty eight, I think. So it still it still worked out. And actually, with some new time saves and stuff, it's it would be possible to get sub two in a new game glitch list now, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. I don't know if it's something I want to do right now. I mean, maybe, maybe at some point, cup skip just really sucks, man. I, I just don't. I'm not in the mood to grind that right now. <laughs> you want to move back to glitch list? Yeah, I feel you on that. Um, I might have some other categories I want to run in this game, but it's it's mostly this. But I have been learning Mirror's Edge any percent recently, and I've actually been having a lot of fun with that. And I'm kind of um, now, now that I'm having fun learning that, I kind of want to not to say like wrap it up, but I do kind of want to like you know get to a point where I'm satisfied with this, like get a decent time so I can go play that because I don't want to go I don't want to like stop grinding this go play that 
and then get rusty on this. You know, I want to I want to keep playing this while I'm still playing pretty well. Yeah, it 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 is a lot of fun. Uh, it didn't quite hook me the first time I was playing it. I mean, the tech and stuff was cool, but I didn't learn too much of the run. But um, I started getting more into it this time, and uh, it's been pretty sick. It's very satisfying to get some of the tech down and learn um, some of the tricks and stuff. It's Diamond! He found you! Into the church! Hurry! Dana, the Church of Unitology? Why here? It's one of the few places on Titan Station that Titan can't monitor. But it definitely seems like a good candidate for a game to learn. I mean, it's uh, a game I enjoyed a lot casually, so that's always good. And it just seems like a lot of fun. I haven't ran a ton of games like that that are more focused on movement. I mean, I guess Outlast is kind of that way, but it's not quite the same... Kind of movement, you know. I feel like Outlast is a lot more trying to get the fastest possible animations, taking really tight lines, and a lot of tricks, you know, like technical tricks and execution and stuff. Whereas, I mean, obviously Mirror's Edge has a lot of technical skips and things like that too, but it's a lot of it is like just getting up to high speeds quickly, maintaining the highest speeds possible. Getting extra speed boosts where you can, you know. I mean, because in Outlast, like, one, you know, besides B-hopping, you can't really go faster than your max run speed, I guess. I mean, I guess jumping, but, you know, it's it, you don't have as many movement options as something like Mirror's Edge, where you can, like, spam jump while turning into walls at a certain angle, and it flings you forward, and, you know, lots of stuff like that. Town Oob. Who doesn't just, yeah, who doesn't love doing bush skip and a Vernicky skip and a valve skip? I don't even do valve skip or stairs. That just seems like it makes things so much worse. God. What? Valve skip actually isn't that bad anymore. I'll I'll have to try whatever the new the new setup is then if it's actually not that bad. Look your wrist. Oh shit. Well, I hope it. Yeah, that sucks. I hope hope it heals fast. Hope you get some time to rest. I was about to say, yeah, going to work, or not not going to work does sound nice, but I imagine, yeah, you probably can't really game with, uh, with that going on. It sucks. <sighs> wow, that was fucking fast. <laughs> it was almost really bad, though. I almost uh, didn't get it, but damn, sub-11 on that is kind of crazy. It was also on company time to get comp. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Why did I trust you? Well, you didn't have a choice. Isaac. Well, I mean, it's not. Um, I mean, the whole situation isn't good, but that's 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 good at least. Why can't everyone just leave me alone, huh? It's some frame perfect shit for the first boost up, but it's almost 100% consistent. Okay. So it's like it 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 is. After all. It works. You just have to do it right. It's just also really hard. Yeah. Three minutes ahead. Yeah, I thought about adding a um, a sub split there or something, but yeah, it's just because I'm looking at the uh, my segment timer because you need to run out of the door at like 3.4 seconds, pretty much exactly. So like after shooting the mine, you need to wait like about 3.4 seconds before you run out the door. So we just do that pause buffer to time it, and then I just undo it. I mean, I can still be like 40 seconds ahead potentially or more. Out of this level, um, 
Not, yeah, not not three minutes though. Yeah, we got we'd have to find something pretty big for that. What's up, Infernal? How's it going? And there's a lot of strats for the second one. I feel like I've seen a lot of people posting lineups for that. Yeah. I tried Valve Skip like a little bit when it first got found, but that was pretty much it. I never, uh, excuse me, never really finished a run with it or anything. Or well, that's that actually might not be true. I think I might have finished some runs, but I didn't PB with it. And it definitely did feel pretty random then, you know, but that's before it had more strats. It's still a little bit random, right? Or no, you said it was consistent, it's just hard, right? Yeah. That arm flew right over that spot where my visual cue usually is there. To, I, I almost messed that up, but we got it. Nice. Right, it's like a, it's like the trick's harder to understand and learn than it is to actually do, right? Hey, nice. That is a new best paced chapter six. Of course. <laughs> You hear me? This level is one of the biggest run killers in the game, so we'll see. But yeah, it's night 2053. It's pretty good. Not bad. We we build it. We can tear it down. you mean the marker? Yeah, I I'll, I'd have to put some time into that, but maybe trying to get a PB with that would be cool. I don't even remember what my outlast any percent PB is. It might be like five five fifty something. Is it? I don't. I don't. I don't know. Who's to say? I was about to say, please make it. I'm taking this a little slow. That was that was a really slow setup, but I really don't want to miss this. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> I lost a, a few seconds there setting that up, but we got it. Yo, thanks for the follow. Oh, okay. I think I do play on low anyway. But I would have to check that, yeah. I assume there's a, uh, a a new tutorial or something if I ever tried to learn it. Or I'm sure someone could explain it to me. Yo, Kenichi, thank you for continuing your uh, your gift sub. Appreciate that. All right, I really hope this works. One.
All right, I really hope that works. Oh, right, see, it has to be low, not very low. It's pretty, pretty specific, right? Yeah, I can see that messing people up if they're playing on high or medium, very low, you know? And it just doesn't work, or it's, the, the Q doesn't show up. Okay, that did work, nice. Run the transport hub, let's go. <laughs> now we just have to not get shit on by the brute. Speaking of which, I might grab these health packs here. For safety. Not too much out of the way. All right. So yeah, we have we have lost a little bit of time already, um, just by playing that first trick a little bit safe. We're playing a couple, we're playing like a couple things slightly safe here and there, but I wanted to not immediately blow this pace if possible, because <laughs> I have done that. I've, I've I had another run that was minus forty, maybe forty one, something like that. I just immediately missed the first trick in this level. Feels pretty bad. Nice. Yeah, if I get if I get a run anywhere near this and I get it to I actually get it, or if it makes it to chapter six around this pace and I actually get to transport hub, I'm pretty happy. Even if it I get destroyed uh, in the actual hub itself, you know. I just want to know that, you know, I got unlucky, not that I, you know, it was my own execution and I messed up. It feels like, when you mess up the, that, that punch hover trick, it feels so bad. Sometimes because you don't know what you did wrong, but two, because it's the last thing you have to do, basically, before, the last hard thing you have to do before you get to try this, it just feels like a waste. It's like, ah, oh, dude, it's almost there. Twitchy. I don't trust him. Not that it's fun to lose a run anywhere, but Move. definitely one of my least favorites. That and Chapter Seven. That one. That one. That one's worse, actually. Okay, Isaac. You would have rather lost the trick to your own mistake. Well, I just mean like. I will shoot him. I would. I would rather know that like I'm playing well, and it's just like okay, I got unlucky. That's fine. Rather than like, I didn't even get to try the random trick because like I messed it up. You know what I mean? I mean, I would rather the... I would rather the trick just not be random, but... You know. Isaac! We're up here! Come on! Move! Hello, Isaac. Well... I don't know, it works first try every time, so... I barely managed to escape the CEC facility this morning. Wait, you're CEC? Heavy equipment pilot, class 4. You? Engineer. Nerd. Figures. Shit. It's dark. They don't find me in the dark. Shut up. It's okay. It's just a power outage. You know, one one thing that might make this uh, a little bit harder to test as well is I'm not. I, I think the brute lands in the same spot and does the same stuff even when you reload the checkpoint. But I'm not actually a hundred percent sure about that. He might be. It, it, it is possible he could do, be slightly different <laughs> when he lands the first time. You know. Are you insane? You cut off power to life support. There may be other survivors over here. Public sector is all. But if it works, it works. Conditions. If not, rip. I mean, we're we're a decent amount ahead still. That if. He still clips us through within a, a few tries. We'll still be ahead, but we'd like to take it at first try. It just works every single time, dude.
All right, I'll take it. Let's go. <laughs> 809. That's not a terrible chapter 6. Yeah, it's fine. Not sub 29 though. Reset. <laughs> Was it an 810? Whatever. Decent enough. I could have I could have I I could have gotten it faster. I lost probably four or five seconds on the first trick just taking it slow on the lineup, but Ellie, that's fine. It looks like the docking pod that I wanted to take that one safe. It's floating at the bottom of the shaft. That figures. I don't worry. I can fix this. I'm heading outside to have a look. Uh, that probably works. Pretty good. Dude, if this- <laughs> Man, don't even say that, dude. It'd be so sad. Okay, we're good. Losing a few seconds, but we're making it to chapter 8. I love how the audio is like doesn't isn't right here because we're supposed to be in that room. So she's like starting to talk to us. And you can't even hear because everything just starts blowing up. <laughs> what? Right. Would have liked maybe one or two more health packs, but usually you don't. Even really need him. Hold on. Anyway. Yeah, it worked. It worked out of spite. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Should still be like minus thirty something in the chapter eight. Look, Pretty spicy. I'm giving it my codes, but it's not working. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, hopefully we can we can keep it that way. Again, chapter 8 is really hard too, so I don't know. If we can make a pass to that, we'll be doing pretty good though. I'm glad that we're actually getting some runs, for this. though. I mean, because besides the two dumb resets at the oh, beginning, this is basically our first run, so... First run of the chapter like one basically or two I guess but yeah it's open. pretty good especially because I uh, I did practice uh, either yesterday or the day before but it's been you know it's been a few days since I I did runs so I wasn't sure Shit, Isaac. how the runs would go Shit. but pretty good it's okay. no, it's not. I was right had a really solid chapter four this run too but we were overrun. Yeah, we'll see though. This next trick is uh is tough, so I don't know. I had to cut the arms and legs off my friends. Just Hopefully we get it. I I'd, I'd really I really hope we do. I I think for me this is this this is the hardest thing left in the run. Um I've just walked one big fucking circle. Not that there's not other hard stuff, but I think for me for me personally, I think this is the hardest thing. Either maybe in the run, actually. It might be yeah, maybe I think this might be for me the hardest trick in the run. A central hub in the main facility. Yeah, go van. Okay, well. I guess that is probably harder than this, yeah. And by that I mean it it definitely is. <laughs> 
But that trick, that trick feels random, though. There's gotta be something we can do about that. I have not sat down and messed with it anymore, though, recently. Strictly pause based? Well, whether it sends you in the right spot or not is definitely a little bit random, because you can have it load in really early. I mean, there's lineups where it will not load in. I'm pretty sure. Until you're too low. I don't know, maybe if you get, like, perfect pauses, you'll still get it pretty much every time, but... There's definitely a way to make it not as bad, I think. Hopefully. every time you're so lucky yep all luck baby now that that pause setup has been pretty good for me I don't choke it. I actually, I actually don't think it's luck. I think, I think with that setup, it is pretty, uh, pretty skill based. If there is a little bit of variance, you, it's, it's not too bad. Nice, almost went too early. <sighs> Cause like I, I aim all the way down, and then I try to get the, the, the light with like a certain amount of distance from the top of the screen. And for like how fast I pause, I know that like if I do like three pauses, that it'll usually work. Also, I do think if you, and this might just be for me, um, it does feel like if you pause buffer again and you wait a little bit after you, because you open the, you do the one where you open the door, I do another one and I wait a little bit just to like let the collision fully load in. Looks like it into. Um, at this point you know so you're not like because you're going you're going pretty fast too so i don't you know i think there's there's a chance you could still clip through if it loads slowly which like you know i don't have the best P i mean i have a, I have, a d I have a pretty decent pc but it's not as fast as some of the other people that run this game so like you know I just just in case i i do that all right well that's uh that's pretty much what i wanted was just to get that at least so now we got a shot at it. We actually do have a have a decent shot at this now. I feel kind of bad now if this uh <laughs> this PB is because I started a little bit later than my normal schedule. Some people might miss it. Well, let's not uh let's not get ahead of ourselves here. just be up late at least it is a saturday so it's not you know you know i'm not streaming at midnight on like a monday or whatever well at the very least this bodes well for tomorrow if we do run so hopefully we get some good ones too i'm gonna, I'm gonna take this a little safer because i had a really weird mistake last time here in chapter 10.
Let's fucking go, dude. Alright, I- that was almost really bad. <laughs> okay. I- I don't think the guy on the ground died, so they were both about to start shooting at me. If I- if I missed that, I- I was- I was screwed. <laughs> I was so fucked if I missed that. Okay, that was clutch. I mean, because you, you guys saw it, he, the, the projectile hit the thing, like, right after we clipped through. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Wow, we actually got to run a chapter 11. Alright. Well... This should be about the same pace I had um, the last time we were ahead. I think I had a run that was like minus 29, I think. Would have been 29.1, I want to say, into, into chapter 11. Um, I did not make the routing mistake I made in that run, which was not having enough money <laughs> for the contact beam. I know I definitely have enough this time. Um, I, had, I had went under intentionally meaning to pick up more money, and I actually saw some money drop in Chapter 7, and I somehow just, like, didn't pick it up, and so I, I lost so much time. So I did the, I did my menuing, I just mashed by the beam, and then I menued out, and I thought I got it, but I didn't have enough money, and I, I just lost, like, 20-plus, like, in that level. It was really bad. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Utah? Yo, thank you for the good luck. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Pretty, like, very, very solid so far. See if we can clutch it out. I might have saved a second or two here, so we might actually be more ahead than that run was. I think I think I think this is probably still best pace ever. If we can maintain this pace till the end of the run, that would be crazy. I mean I could this like I we could still save a lot of time from the beginning up to here, but Yeah, nice. Really good chapter 10. I could have stood further back there, but I was taking it safe because I messed it up last time too. Why did you do it, Strauss? Your sleeping schedule so ass. It happens sometimes. What, what the fuck was that? Okay. What's the last that was weird. I just like didn't click it for some reason and then my cursor disappeared. We good though? Minor slip up. 6 a.m. It's gaming time. I I did used to enjoy doing that, you know, staying up till maybe maybe not even quite that late, but you know, I, I used to, like at the beginning of the pandemic, especially I stayed up to like four or five all the time. Um, I think I actually don't know if I can really do that anymore. I do wake up a little earlier now because you know I have like, I mean then I wasn't you know working really, but now I am so. I gotta actually get up at a reasonable time, but so maybe it's because of that, because my sleep schedule is different. But man, I feel like I, I I might just be getting old, dude. Like I can't do that anymore. Attention shift workers. 
Kroger's. Be mindful of the nearest survival chain. I don't know, maybe that's just what happens, you know, I'm like mid 20s approaching late 20s, right? Just getting to the point where I'm like oh god. Oh man, I got to got to go to sleep, dude. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I do, I do that too, though. As soon as I don't have that obligation anymore, if I'm on vacation or taking some time off or whatever, I just immediately would, like, will want to stay up late. Maybe not quite that late, you know, but I, I do think that is fun, though. Bro. Okay, that was bad, but we're good. All right, yeah, we're fine. Okay, I lost like 10 seconds there, but that's fine. Or in this level so far. All right, I don't think, I don't think we can get sub 5730 anymore, but it's still pretty big PB pace. But that's fine. I mean, getting that that I know that that's kind of my goal, but it is it is pretty hard. Not even tired. <laughs> you pass the point where you're, like your body hits that point where it's like, hey, you should probably go to bed now. So it makes you feel tired, but then you just push through it, and it's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I think your your stomach kind of does that. I think right where there's certain times when it you're like supposed to be hungry, so it kind of like makes you feel hungry like almost hungrier than you actually are if you know what i mean but then like if you put if you like wait it those like it kind of like goes away for a bit i don't know it might be kind of like that i'm not a doctor though dude i don't i don't i'm just i'm just saying shit dude i don't know <laughs> so it needs a pb it would be really nice yeah i could still get like a 57 40 something that'd be pretty dope Oh, uh, actually, wait, no, this could, this could technically still 57.3x. Yeah, I just, I was basing that, that timing off of, um, I think my gold, which actually was in my PB that we're comparing against in this level, which is pretty brutal. For us right now, at least. Um, I think was, it was a 240 checkpoint restart there, and we had, like, a really low 250, so probably lost, like, 9 or 10 in this level so far up to there. Which does make sense, you know, I messed up that hack panel a little bit. I could have taken the first room with the stalkers a little bit faster. A little bit riskier, I guess, you know, shooting the baby at the end. Um, and Crazy Clip was kind of slow, but that's fine. That was probably one of the bigger mistakes of the run so far. Or that actually might have been the biggest mistake of the run so far. I feel like we've been doing pretty good. Like, at this point, we're just- I, I didn't make a ton of mistakes in my PB, really, in the last couple levels, so we're kind of just trying to not bleed too much time. Alright, I took that kind of safe, too. Yeah, 10, 10, 11 seconds, yeah. Probably less like a second on Punch Up the Shaft or so, that's fine. Yeah, and you gotta remember, I, I golded that level in my PB, so losing 10 seconds there is not ideal, but it's actually not even that bad. We like we were we were probably going to lose time there anyway. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just uh we'll say we're get, we're getting the choke out of the way there. Dude. 
Thank God. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. That was dumb. Whatever. Hey, what did you do? Okay, now we got the choke out of the way. I don't know, man. That trick has been weird for me recently. There should be another one around here somewhere. Okay. Any luck up there? Well, no, not now. There we go. I wanted to try to make sure I got some more contact beam ammo because in case we get fucked on the final boss and she doesn't like take enough damage on that first shot, I want to make sure I have enough ammo. <laughs> Because I used the one shot on the guy before punch up the shaft, which leaves three in the clip, which is exactly enough to kill her. But if she does that shit where you hit her and the marker doesn't open up, uh, you just have to reload the checkpoint. Like, you actually can't do anything. I mean, you can fight her with normal weapons, but that's slow as shit. Like, we get the, we get the contact beam for a reason. It's fucking broken. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can hit this. Alright. Focus here. Nice. 
Andy. Ninety-seven. All right. Fuck! Fuck! Wait, what? Oh, I split twice. Okay, that's why. Whew, okay, we got it. Yeah, that one's ninety-seven. I somehow split twice, yeah, that was weird. Alright, it's not over yet, I do still have to get eye poke skip. I gotta not choke this. What's up, Shrian? We are, in fact, gaming, actually, yeah. <laughs> um, no, that's that's how you do that one, um, with the, uh, the punches there, yeah. That's how many you do. That should work. I'm pretty sure that worked. All right, this is the last tense loading screen here. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's see it. Yes, dude, yes, let's fucking go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay, we just gotta not choke the final boss and we're good. Let's go, dude, yes. <laughs> oh. Yes. Finally, dude. Yo, what's up, Shauna? I was just texting you. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yo, thank you for the prime and for the eight months. Appreciate the resub. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a had a nice nap. Oh shit! I shouldn't have drank water. My hands are shaking. Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> Spilled it on myself. I do that with that water bottle all the time, anyway. Ugh. I don't know if my watch was keeping track of my heart rate there. Yo, and Strabo, thank you for the 16 months. Yo, appreciate the resub. Alright, let's do this. Dude, it happened. That's crazy. Alright. We did it, GG. That's fine. <laughs> let's go, dude. GG. Alright, I, I do have a theory for why that happens. I think if you hit her on, like, the very side of her body, that happens. It might even be something dumb, like it's traveling past her and, like, clips the side of her, but I don't even know, dude. Whatever, man. I'm glad I got the ammo, because that would have screwed me if I didn't. Yeah. I caught, you know, uh, there were a, a couple little late game blips and some chokes in there, but uh, we held it together. And yeah, that's uh, that should be a, a low 5740 4x, you know. Not bad. Definitely not bad. That early game is gonna be hard to run against up to chapter 6. Yo, and thank you for the GG's. I do technically have to not die here, but um, see, I'm not, I don't, I don't wanna celebrate too too early but yeah we pretty much we pretty much got it you were here um yeah a bit of a weird time to stream and then and then get this yeah death is the run is technically not over yet yeah but we should be good oh man this yeah that would that would be so that would be so sad all right at least chapter six to the end for this run was definitely a lot more balanced than my PB was. So was this your that's that's good. The late night crew carried, I know, right? Yeah, well, here's another one. I'm crashing through the roof again. Yeah, don't even say it. Don't even say it. I don't want to die here. 
Yeah, well, you don't really have a say this time. <sighs> Heads up. All right. Let me close this out real quick. Ah, oh, finally, man. I was uh, I was just saying earlier too that might have even been this attempt. I was like, man, I want to get a good time in this so I can play Mirror's Edge. <laughs> I'm still not a hundred. I would. I, I don't think I'm still 100% satisfied with this. I think I want to keep going a bit, but I'm glad we got something. All right, GG, dude. Seven forty-four, dude. Let's go, yo. What's up, Maxi? How's it going, man? Yes, dude. Yes. Hell yeah. All right. Well, that is another. It's at least another ten-second break in any percent. That's pretty good. You know, thanks to the GGs. Yeah, definitely, definitely improvable by a lot. But we we didn't choke. We didn't choke too much. Came in late. GG. Yo, welcome on in. Yo, thanks for the GG. Thank you as well, book slap. Sub 4730 next. Yeah, that I would that that's kind of my goal. Like that would be that would be sick. We actually had that pace up until chapter eleven. Yeah, we were minus yeah, minus thirty there. I needed to be like minus twenty-nine, I think, off my last PB. Um so we had we had that pace up until uh, chapter eleven, and then I lost a little bit of time. Oh shit, yo and Mike, yo, thank you for the raid, dude. Holy shit, <laughs> yo, thank you so much, dude. Um, and yeah, welcome everybody. Uh, you came in a new time, new world record for any percent Dead Space Two. Um, this was kind of the first run of today. I, I reset a couple runs in like chapter one, and then we did this one. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Solid. Um, <laughs> uh, hope you had a great stream though, dude. Uh, hope everyone's having a good weekend. Um, I'm assuming y'all were doing some more RE1 remake. Hope that was good. Um, yeah, I've been grinding this category again for a couple weeks. Two or three weeks now, I think. Something like that. Um, hit the grind today. Nice, dude. Hope it was, hope it was productive. <laughs> Gonna go play Mirror's Edge now. Bye. Yep. <laughs> Uh, but attempts are solid. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's good, dude. I mean, it's just part of the, part of the process. Um, man, I got, I got, I felt like I got pretty close a couple times for this PB, or like some days where I'm like, today's the day we got it, and then just, it was not the day. <laughs> but I could feel it was coming soon, um, because there was, there's a, for, for those that haven't seen this run, there's a trick, uh, and there's a glitch in this game called Punch Hovering. And it's uh, one of the more difficult things to do in the run, and uh, setting them up is also really annoying. And there's one in chapter six. Um, you punch for like a minute straight, but it saves two minutes. And uh, you have to set it up while you're moving. Like you, the whole thing is like you're moving while you're punching, and you gotta set it up after you get the glitch. So you have to like line up everything perfectly um, and count your steps while you're all like moving and stuff. And it's like really annoying, and I lost like five runs in between like two days to that and i had to like sit there and i hate practicing that trick it's so annoying it's fine we did it uh yo what's up delish yes yeah world record by 14 seconds yeah first pb in like seven months i mean i haven't been playing for, for like over seven months but you know what i mean like i, I haven't this is, I, I came back a couple weeks ago to start grinding this and yeah we finally we got it but yeah Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Yo, and what's up, Eduardo? Yeah, it's funny. I um, I started late today, um, because I uh, I had well, I had other stuff I was doing, you know, um, this weekend. But uh, I just I I jump. I still wanted to jump on and do some runs. I might run it back and do one more, especially since y'all just got here on the raid. Um, and I guess you know, apparently we're playing 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 pretty well. Um, yo, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. My ProGDQ hardcore run. Ah, oh, if it gets in, yeah, that would be cool. Um, yeah, I did. I did submit Dead Space 2 hardcore. Um, my prediction: I do think Callisto has a better chance. Um, 
if I do get anything in, that's that's my guess. That's probably the most likely. Um, my first choice would probably be this game. I think that would be sick. But just like you know, what's what what seems more likely is probably that. Mostly just because this game was in like two and a half years ago. It, I I did submit a different category, but like it's it's still the same game. You know, and not that like a game can't get in in like short succession, but I feel like newer game helps a little bit. You know. Horror games are a huge toss-up this time around. Yeah, and I mean, they always, uh, you know, accept a certain amount of horror games. Um, so, with it, you know, and there's there's a lot of there's a lot of good uh, submissions. I think um, I haven't looked through the whole the whole list. Um, I, did anybody submit Alone in the Dark? Did that come out too recently? I mean, that might be. For like second period submissions, maybe I feel like that would be cool. Um, you want to thank you for the follow as well. Appreciate it. That one's okay. Okay, I, I was gonna say I was like actually I I, th I feel like that like just came out, so I th that's probably too too recent. Yeah, but yeah, that, I think that'd be a great uh, second submission run. Clearly fed up with the monster. Yeah, it's like the uh, what's the um is it is it number is it quote number one or two the one we're crazy it's like back when we had to do a stasis skip with uh steve that necromorph and he was just a pain in the ass <laughs> oh no that's that's one yeah also i mean still dead space related i guess yeah mid pb thanks radish appreciate that dude yeah hopefully uh hopefully next pb is sub 5740 um, I don't know if I if I get if I get sub fifty seven thirty I think I'll probably be pretty happy with this. I mean I'm happy that I PB'd at all, so like I am happy with this run. It's also the the second fifty seven I've ever gotten, so that's that's also pretty cool. Um, yeah, like what even did we? What even did we mess up? I kind of want to look at the splits. I think I lost like eleven seconds in chapter eleven, but I also golded it last time, so. I was kind of expecting to lose time there. I choked uh, Crazy Clip. Uh, speaking of crazy, actually. I choked Crazy Clip a little bit. That was kind of bad. But I mean, like... I mean, Drill was... The, the Drill Room was a little bit scuffed. Gondola Skip was kind of bad. Um, No, no, I'm, I'm the only one with 57, yeah. The best one is trying to get him to move around. Oh, that's li yeah, literally, literally stasis skip. It's uh, wait, did somebody did somebody post it? It's quote like two or three probably. Is it three? The moon. It's the moonwalking one. Because <laughs> you gotta like you gotta push him through the through the door, but the enemies in this game usually want to stay in like one specific room. A lot of them do. So like when you try to push him through there, he doesn't want to go in. He wants to walk back, and then some. But then like when the door closes, it gets like really glitchy, and he actually will like moonwalk around and be really annoying. Because <laughs> you, but you need him to get like right in front of the door. He needs to be like right there to hold it open. <laughs> oh shit! But yeah, thank you again for the GGs, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, let me. I want to look at the splits real quick, and then. Uh... I'll run it back. <laughs> 